<laughs> oh, the devil. Oof. Oh, yeah. <laughs> right, today we've got the Weem Mini. Now, this has been around for a year or so, maybe two. And it's had some rave reviews considering what you get for the price. So I thought I'd get one, have a look at it, see if it's uh, worth all these rave reviews. Is it as good as they say it is? And what I'll be doing today in this video is I'll be doing a quick unboxing, have a look what's in there. Then we'll go through the setup and the app. Um, uh, and I'll do some timestamps below. So if you want to skip some stuff and you're thinking I'm do getting on your nerves talking, just click the timestamp and skip to the next chapter. <laughs> okay. And then we look at, we talk about the sound quality. Um, also what I want to do as well in this video is to compare the DAC. So it has a decent DAC apparently in there, but I want to see how it sounds compared to the DAC in my Marantz PM6007 amp. So we'll be doing a bit of a sound comparison there, so look out for that. And then I'll be giving my final thoughts and whether I think, you know, it's really good or really bad and are there any caveats. So first of all, let's get it out of the bloody box. Okay, so it comes in a nice box, I suppose. Some people, you know, get a bit overexcited about the box is in. Uh, but who really cares about the box? So you can see it's Apple AirPlay, Spotify, works with Manet uh, And then you can see here, Spotify D's a Tidal, Go Buzz, what's that? So whatever that is. Heart Radio, Napster, TuneIn, Amazon Music, blah, blah, blah. And then download the app here. Let's have a look. Let's get it out of the box. So we got a little bit of the instructions there. Yeah, whatever. Okay, and there's the old Wii Mini. So it's, uh, like I say, size of a hockey puck. Not very big at all. Pretty teeny and weeny. On the back there, you've got your auxiliary in, auxiliary out. It's a Type-C connection and SPDIF optical out. So it doesn't come, I don't think it comes with a power plug. It comes with the lead, but you can plug that USB into anything. And let's have a look in here. And then in here then you've got So it looks like you've got all your leads in there then. So there you've got your SPDIF for optical cable. Uh, three and a half mil jacks there, the three and a half mil jack male. Uh, you've got three and a half mil jack male to RCA male. Just this, you can plug that into a hi-fi, back of a hi-fi here. Then you've got your USB-C there then, uh, which obviously, uh, you can plug that USB into it, bring in anything. All right. Now, I will say that these leads, you know, some people say it doesn't make much difference, but these leads are the cheapest of the cheap. <laughs> Cheapy McCheap are the cheap some five, okay? <laughs> They're pretty cheap leads. So you might, if, if you're that way inclined, you might want to upgrade them a little bit to something, you know, maybe a, a little bit better. Okay. Let's download the app and get it set up. So I'm gonna add device in real time. So let's have a look and see how easy it is to install. Allow. There we are, set up. Oh no, I've got to enter my password. And that's how easy it is. Simple dimple. Now what's it doing? 
Oh, looks like it's going to update now. Okay, so the update took about five to eight minutes around there. One too long. It's all updated now. Now it's asking me um, what I want to name it. I'm going to keep it the same name. That's fine. Click next. Um, auto measurement of the audio path latency. The connected speaker or receiver may have a different audio latency. latency da, 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 da. Well, well, I'll, cal I'll cal calibrate it. Ah, if I want to do the audio latency measurement, I've got to connect it to a speaker. So, um, no, I don't want to do that. So, do I go back? Okay. Okay, so the app is pretty straightforward. You've got browse here on the bottom left. And there you can see your own music at the top. Uh, preset content, music services, it's got Amazon Music, BBC Radio, Deezer, Heart Radio, Napster, blah, blah, blah. All these other ones there, Spotify, Tidal, TuneIn. And then at the bottom of there you can have your source, aug auxiliary in, Bluetooth or Wi-Fi. And uh, you've got your device you're playing on. And on there you've got your settings then. On your settings there you can just uh, change a few things if you want to. So you've got your EQ. Uh, you can have your EQ on or off, and you can either have a custom, do it yourself, um, or you can just choose, you know, you know I'll, put, I'll choose bass booster, and there we are. Or put it to flat, and turn it off. Uh, you've got audio output, so you can change from uh, Bluetooth not connected, aux out. Uh, what else have we got? Audio settings. Now it says you stream, so if you look here, just there, it says spdiff stream quality, right? Um, so at the moment it's set on 48, 16 bit. But obviously you can change that if you want to change it to 192 and 24 bit, you can. Now I'm not sure how, whether this can, this will affect it if you're just playing at a lower sample rate. I don't think it will, but obviously I'm going to set it at the highest sample rate I can and bit depth. Uh, I haven't set it up with the with the Amazon yet, um, uh, but I will look there. So you can do Amazon Music HD UHD with that. What else we got? Okay, and then over here we got on the bottom here we got normal settings there, and it's just a basically release notes stuff like that. You've got your user manual there, and it tells you then Wii Pro or Wii Mini. And you've got your user manual in, so you can have a little look at that and see what it does and how to set things up. But it does come with that in the booklet as well. So I have Amazon Music. Let's see how easy it is to set up. So I'm going to bang on Amazon Music. Obviously I'm going to put there and you won't be able to see this guy ain't showing you. No way, no how. Okay, so it's not, the Amazon Music is not bad. Uh, it's not as good as the Amazon Music app, um, but it, it does what it does. Okay, so you can see you've got your charts here. You've got the charts there, so you can have a look at the most popular songs, top songs, top albums, whatever, and it'll list them there. Um, what else has got? So you can search down the bottom here, look. You've got a search there, bang on that. Find your favourite music. I don't know, let's have a look. Okay, so I've just searched for Oasis there and it's come up with songs. Um, let's have a look, albums. There we are. I've gone up, obviously, no playlist, but only the playlist that Amazon's given. There we are. Artists, songs, yeah, yeah. Obviously, I'm not going to play them. So there you go. That's pretty straightforward. I'll try it out later, see if it works. Okay. And I would imagine it's the same for 
all the others. I can't imagine it being any different. So it's all set up. I've been uh, running some tests on it. I've been listening to some music and I have to say the sound quality is, it is pretty good. Uh, I can't grumble with it at all. Um, over Wi-Fi, it sounds very good. Bluetooth is okay, it's okay, but don't forget that the, the Bluetooth in this is Bluetooth 5, but it doesn't use any advanced codecs, it doesn't use uh, Aptex, Aptex HD or LDAC, LDAC. It only uses SBC and AAC. So it's just got average Bluetooth, which is, an, is even the Aptex is inferior to Wi-Fi, so, and LDAC. So I don't know why you would use that Bluetooth, but the Bluetooth is okay, but the over Wi-Fi, fantastic. One thing I will say though, is that when I was doing the setup, in the settings, I changed it. So it, 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 was, it was actually set on CD quality, 16 bit, 44.544, whatever kilohertz. And I changed it to uh, 24 bit, 192 kilohertz. But when I was playing uh, some tracks from um, Amazon Music, and they were ultra HD tracks, I noticed that they were in HD and they were, they were back to CD quality again. I was like, mm, hang on a sec, what's going on here? I wanna play it in UHD, of course, you know, why are you order? So anyway, I went back in and I noticed that it, it had reverted back to CD quality. So I had to change it back in the app again, back to high quality. And when I went back into the Amazon Music app then and played the same song, you could see it was in Ultra HD. So here we are, everyone's a winner. But just keep a lookout for that. Now, what I wanted to check also is how good the DAC is in the Weem Mini. Because uh, they say it's a hi-fi, it's a really good DAC and whatever, capable of what, you know, with this and the other. So what I thought I'd do, I, I thought I'd pit it against the DAC in my Marantz PN uh, 6007 amplifier. Now, I haven't got a separate DAC to compare it, but the DAC's supposed to be pretty good in the Marantz amp. So I thought I'd compare the two. Uh, now, to do that, obviously, all I need to do uh, to compare the uh, DACs is to run the optical cable from the Wii Mini into my amp. That's going through digitally, so my amp has to convert that, and so I'm using the DAC in the amp. And then I'm using aux auxiliary out, and that'll be using the DAC in the Weem. Uh, and what I'll do, I'll do a song, compare them both, and see who comes out the winner. Let's have a listen to that. I like to be educated, but I'm so frustrated. Hello to my
wish I knew So, what do you think, hmm? Well, you know, make sure if you do listen to this comparison, you've got very good speakers or very good headphones because to pick up them, you know, differences in the sound, it's going to be difficult. Uh, I will say one thing, though, that I had to compensate a little bit for the volume. The auxiliary was slightly quieter by about 2 dB, just tiny, just a little bit. So I had to increase the volume to, to match it to make it a fair comparison, because sometimes if it's lower volume, you think it's worse quality, but that's not always the case. So the auxiliary was slightly quieter, but I still think uh, on a decent pair of headphones, I found that there wasn't a massive difference between them. It is a pretty decent DAC, but I thought the amplifier DAC was a little bit more spacious, a little bit more open. I don't know what you guys thought, obviously over YouTube, mm, you don't know, <laughs> well, <laughs> I don't know how good it's going to be, but make sure if you do listen to it, decent pair of headphones, don't listen to it over your phone, you're never going to tell the difference. And if you do listen to it over the phone, you deserve to give yourself a really big <laughs> slap, okay? <laughs>